So, uh, in the supermarket, there's all of these products, and there's new products I've already talked about and other things, and they always catch me out with this sort of stuff. But I'll tell you what, I started the checkout, so um, I had a bit of a falling out with the checkout lady um, because she said to me, um, would you like help with your packing? And I said, no. Uh, but what she heard was, I can pack my bags faster than you can scan, you bitch. <laughs> and, and threw a gauntlet onto the checkout. Because she then starts whizzing these things through. And I've got a problem because, like, I mean, I don't know if it's just me. Other people might be like this. I don't know if it's just me. But I treat bag packing in the supermarket like a game of Tetris. Okay? I don't just throw things in. They've got to, they've got to neatly fit. And she's throwing this stuff through, and it's stacking up, and it's stacking up, and it's stacking up, because I'm standing, and I'm waiting, because I know that any second now is going to be a pack of wafer-thin ham that is going to fit just right (laughs) into that space, and everything else is just flying on through. Tell you what is good value in the supermarket. Shopping trolleys. A quid. (laughs) My missus was furious. I bought five, but like, at that price... (laughs) I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but metal ones and everything. So I wanted one of them yogurts that has got bacteria in it, um, because that's meant to be good for you. But I went to shop, and I couldn't afford one of the bacteria ones, because they're dead expensive. So I bought a regular yogurt, and then I went outside and paid a tramp 10p to spit in it. Um... Uh, and mix it up. Now, I, I didn't really know if it had worked. I mean, it didn't really change the flavor much. It's like a, just a hint of tobacco. But, um, but, I ate, and, um, but it obviously did have bacteria in it because now I have hepatitis. So um, B and C. Uh, I was hoping to get A, B and C so I could put a hotel on it, but just B and C. Um, but I worry about these yogurts that have got bacterial cultures because um, there are some people that say that, that meat is murder, okay? But destroying an entire culture is genocide. <laughs> and I prefer not to commit genocide for breakfast. Um, that's in the afternoon. It's only polite. But there is this, uh, <clears throat> this one it had in it. El Casae Immunitas. El Casae Immunitas. Um, it, this is the name of the bacterial culture they came up with. Although they had to change the name because the word Immunitas uh, made it sound like it was good for your immune system. And it wasn't. That was bollocks. So they made them change it. It's now called El Casae Danone or something. And that got me to thinking that if you really want to make up sort of bullshit, sciencey Latin words to sell your product... They could have gone so much further than that. You know, what about L. cancerae curitas? (laughs) Or L. coxiae make big (laughs) Sell loads of that. But um, I also got uh, into this uh, German shampoo. You know, the, the one that's been on the advert. Hey, you know, why don't you see why this is the best selling shampoo in Germany? i uh, tell you what, husky voice advert lady, why don't you tell me why it's the best-selling shampoo in Germany? Well, she can't tell me that because uh, it's all a lie, okay? It contains caffeine. Uh, there are stories going around the internet that caffeine makes your hair grow back or grow or do something, and it's clearly bollocks. Um, and I should have seen it coming. I should have because, um, you know, history has taught me and taught us that You should always be wary when you're being encouraged into the shower by Germans. (laughs) 